Today I want to show you my in-scale layout that I've been working on for probably two months, but off and on. Uh, last night I did the plaster cloth. Uh, the stonework here on the train, I wanted to point that out because I I did flex flex spray. I know uh, most uh, the popular mode and method is to put the the gray stone on there. Sorry if this is fine ballast. I probably will still use that, but I use what's called flex stone, and it's called stone. Actually, the color of stone. Uh, this would be the village. Uh, I'll have a in scale Swiss village and here it is. These are the buildings that will go there. And they will go right here and I will have a gondola lift here. It'll come up and it'll land here. And then I will have chair lifts, ski lifts coming up the mountain here. So I'll have a winter mountain scene. This is just some of the scenery. What I do is I do paper mache first. I put paper mache and I have paper mache over top of foam. What I did is, uh, you can see here, I got foam, and let me take you underneath here. I've got all these pieces of foam, and these foam pieces are actually left over. Let me uh, bring it over here too. Here's another piece of foam. The foam is left over from when we had our house built. I held on to it, and I used the foam as the sub base so let me come over here see the foam and then I use uh, lay in ceiling tile so this is lay in ceiling tile and I use the lay in ceiling tile as the road bed for the track it enables me to it enables me to carve it cut it manipulate it very very easily so what I do is I put the ceiling tile down and a liquid nail. I use liquid nails for about everything. But I use liquid nails. And then I come in and I make all of the mountains. I make all of the mountains with uh, foam. Just standard um, white foam. And then you can see here where I've carved it out where I'm putting in the, the buttress for the bridge. And see if you can see that I make my bridges right out of the same ceiling panel, ceiling tile. This will be a creek, my creek here. This is the waterfall that I'll have. This will be the location of a coal mine. And I'm going to have an old mine scene right here. And I've got uh, some old push cart mine buggies that I'm going to have here. But my modern mine will be right here. Now, let me bring you over here, so just hang with me. You can see here how I build it up. See, I used plywood, just regular OSB plywood. And then what I did is I put 2 inch foam down on it. And then I used liquid nails and I nailed in all these pieces. You can see how I just filled it in. So what I did is I just took random pieces of foam and I filmed it in and actually this foam all this foam came from the foundation when they built our, our, our house it was, this foam actually was the where they poured the concrete foundation so they had all these bags of foam left and I grabbed about four bags of the foam and that's what I used to build all of this up that's what I used to build up all this mountain 
and you can see here I mean you can see the foam and all I do is uh, I take a drill and I drill it and it's easy it's easy to work with you can see the foam in there you see how easy I can carve it I have a foam cutter a wire foam cutter and uh, so once I get the foam where I want it and I use a foam cutter to form it or I just uh, you know basically I take a wire brush and, and uh, or a knife and I cut it and then once I get the paper mache on here then I come back over the paper mache with plaster cloth so this is plaster cloth and the between the two between the two items the the paper mache and the past plaster cloth I mean it leaves a really hard shell and the thing is about uh, laying ceiling tile that's really nice too you see it's easy it's easy to cut and carve so this is my tunnel and what I've done is I have access points here that I can get in there I can vacuum clean if the train falls off I can fix all that here's just a shot of a typical portal tunnel that I've made standard basically bridge actually I got this bridge from uh, Japan and uh, the the scale of the it's in scale but the 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 separation of the ties is a little different than the black ties here but the engine still everything still travels on it so it hasn't been a problem here's another bridge here I put the buttress in that's the thing about the foam it's easy to cut into and be able to put stuff in there like this so this is the next the next tunnel that will be put here with the retaining wall I'll have a farm scene here I'll have a uh, pond here with a waterfall cascading down and another cascade element here let me just take you around I'll have I'll have the track extending over and I'll I'll have a uh, lumber my lumber mill here and I'll have a bridge uh, either uh, a, a roadway I have a road coming up here to this site but I'll have another road coming up with a bridge and then I'll have a long bridge coming across here so these these will be carved in here and then I'm going to have a tunnel put in right here sorry about the mess but this is going to be the downtown this will be in my downtown this is the gondola that's going to be on my ski lift and this is the blast furnace and I'll have an oil refinery and things here but uh, it's kind of my catch-all right now this will not go here this will be on my farm but this is the cattle all right until next time